Yes, hi, this is Mark. And this is Noah. And we are... Be Masters. And today we're going to talk about... Your Folk. All right. Your Folk was born in Strasbourg, North Dakota, and he has the farm in 1924 to pursue a career in music. And in 19... Uh, and he was part of some man, say, Yon Falk and Ohio, the Yufu Company, Yon Falk and the Hafi Taffy Boys. And in 1951, he, he hosted the, the Yon Falk Show, which was not on TV at the time. And then on July 2nd, 1955, he made his first network premiere episode. Of the Yarn Frog Show on July 2nd, 1955, on ABC. And it was the first Yarn Frog premiere ABC show. And uh, there, were, there were also, um, like, and I, there were also stars that were on over the years still. Like, like Mr. Myron Fjorn, and, and Dick Dale, which he, he, he was in the 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 Karen as saxophone, oboe, and beard section. And who was Lawrence Welk's best friend? Myron Thorn. And what did he play? The accordion. Yeah. And they both played the accordion too, both Yorn Folk and Myron Thorn. And they used to play this thing that that that's been very that's very popular in accordion style music. That was very popular back then called polkas. Yes indeed. That was great. And uh, they are and and <laughs> there's also another and there's also another rock star who got married to my Thorne's daughter. Or to one of my Thorne's seven daughters. One of them of oh, which one of them was on the show. And um, the star's name, who who married of Myron's daughter, uh, who um, he was off on the Arnold Falk show and the Mickey Mouse Cup, and his name was Bobby Burgess. And he was an incredible, an incredible dancer. And tap dancer. Yup, and tap dancer, and and uh, he could act and sing. And how many uh, how many um. Different people did he have dancing with him? Three. Three of them? So over the time it was three? Okay. His first, his first one was his childhood friend named Barbara Boyer. His second one was Sissy Kane. And his third one was Ian Barden. Wow. That, that, was, that was really, really good. And um, who was the tap dancer? Art. And there were three tap dancers on the show. Well, oh, three. well, five dancers. So, well, there were three male tap dancers on the show named Arthur Duncan, who worked with the A Great Betty White, Jack Emmel, and my and and the Cold Fiery Budgets from the Mickey Mouse Cube. Yeah. And one of his dancing partners was actually supposed to be a guest star on the on on the Mickey Mouse Club. I mean, when he was when she was one of Bobby when she was Bobby's childhood friend, and his first and his first dancer, or dancing partner. That's great. Awesome. And how long was the show on for again? I can't remember. Would you say? 27 seasons wow. from 1955 to 1982. Well, on the, on the network, it was on from 1955 to 1982 for 16 years. It, and, um, and, um, and, um, and it started in 1951, the Arnold Falk Show, but the network premiered off in 1955. And for 16 years, it was on ABC from 1951 to 19... Uh, and on the network, or on the net, on the, on the on the network, it was on ABC for 16 years, from 1955 to 1971, and then it moved to PBS, and 
When they moved over to PBS, it was already on more stations ever, from 1971 to 1982. Mm. And that was, that was the year that they ended the show, right? 1982? Yeah, 40 years ago. And that was the same year that Yarn Folk retired, too. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Noah. You're welcome. All right. Got a comment? Please, please just send it in. And we will see you. Yep. All right. Bye. Let you take a quick look at the water we're in front of. All right. I'll see you later. Okay, bye.